want to introduce myself um, and please let's give a round of applause for the young kids that was in here making it happen from the jump line. Please give them a round of applause. Good job, good job. I am Marcus Trufant, former Seattle Seahawk, but most of all, Tacoma native. So thank you very much for having me. Hi everyone, I'm Nate Miner. I'm chair of the Mayor's Youth Commission of Tacoma. And thank you. And this is actually my last day, so going out with a bang today being here. I'm glad you all came out today. Um, so also, essential workers, uh, if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, you have to go over to the essential workers lunch ticket booth, sponsored by Olympic Eagle Distributing. And thank you to all of you essential workers. Uh, you've done so much for us these past 15 months. Would you give them a round of applause? Good job, good job. Yeah, so we want to keep this thing going. We want to keep the energy going. Um, the community was invited out today to celebrate Tacoma getting back to business. So today, um, in collaboration with Metro Parks, um, Metro Parks Tacoma, the governor's office, and their Washington Ready campaign. This campaign is a statewide celebration to end the current COVID-19 restrictions. So this is an exciting day for me. I know for everybody here throughout COVID, it's been crazy. It's been nuts. Um, I know a lot of us have kids at home, and it's kind of turned our lives upside down. Um, homeschooling and doing all that kind of stuff. Is anybody else ready for their kids to get out the house and go back to school? Okay, I'm not the only one. So yeah, so again, today is a day of celebration. Today is a day of positivity, and we're gonna keep pushing forward, so thank you. With that, we'd like to um, introduce our next performers, the Mock Fight Kung Fu Dragon and Lion Dance Association. Let's give them a round of applause.
Thank you so much to the Mokfai Kung Fu Dragon and Lion Dance Association. Give them another round of applause. This is also a great time to remember that we should support our Asian American and Pacific Islander community members, family, and friends. Yes, all right, so the um, next person that we have coming to the stage, I wanna do a quick personal thank you first. I know that um, everything that myself and my family and our uh, foundation, she's been a very big supporter. She's been a supporter for a long time. So um, for me, it's a great honor to introduce to the stage the mayor, Miss Victoria Woodards. Hello, Tacoma! You all have no idea how good you look from this stage. Turn around and look. Turn, look to your left and your right. Turn around and look around you. Look at all the amazing people in this park today to celebrate the reopening of Washington State right here in Tacoma, Washington, the best city in the entire universe. Now, I might be, you know, I might be a little biased seeing as I happen to be mayor of Tacoma, but even if I wasn't mayor of Tacoma, or even when I wasn't mayor of Tacoma, I still believe that Tacoma was the best city in the universe. The problem was not everybody knows it, but trust me, they're watching us and they will know that Tacoma is the best city in the universe. And you would ask me, why would I say that? Because we stand here today in this moment to celebrate, to celebrate how far we've come. But trust me, at one o'clock when the celebration is over and we just take this brief moment to enjoy, we get right back to work on all of the issues that are so important to this entire community. We get back to working on homeless issues and affordable housing. We get back to working on infrastructure. And remember, just because we're celebrating the opening of Washington State does not mean that COVID is over. So today, you can even at the celebration get your vaccine today. We are at 50% Tacoma, but we can do better. So even in this celebration, you can take a moment to go get your vaccine. But in this moment, in the, the next hour and a half that we have, I do want us to take a moment because this has been a very stressful year for all of us. So it's been an incredibly stressful time. And I think we deserve just a moment to sit back and relax and eat and fellowship with one another and really honor those essential workers who have been on the front line, not just during the pandemic, but who continuously are on the front line and honor them today. Can we show some love for our essential workers? So now I better get to my script because you all know me. I'll get so happy talking about all of you that I'll forget to do all of the other things I'm supposed to do as mayor today. I do want to take this opportunity. How cool to have Marcus Trufant on stage in Tacoma. Let's be clear, Marcus played for the Seattle Seahawks, but he always was a Tacoma boy. <laughs> and then we want to thank Nate, who is, he said this is his last day as the chair of the Mayor's Youth Commission. And because they've been meeting for the last year on Zoom, I haven't had a chance to see him in person till today. So you all excuse me for a second. Nate, I just want to say thank you for being an MC, but I really want to thank you for your leadership this past year, leading the Mayor's Youth Commission in this, in this very difficult time, but making sure that young people in Tacoma still could use their voice and still had an opportunity to be together to solve the issue. So Nate, thank you so much for your leadership. Can we give Nate a round of applause? Now I'm gonna ask you this moment of celebration. I just want us to take a moment. Today is very much about a new chapter, but I do wanna take a moment of silence to recognize several people. One is to recognize all of those who have lost their lives during COVID. Those who continue to feel the financial impacts of COVID-19 
Those who will be impacted by the end of the eviction moratorium or who are experiencing homelessness. The businesses that struggled, but also the businesses that didn't make it. And to all of those who have lost their lives to or have been impacted by the other pandemic that we face this year, and that is the pandemic of systemic racism. Would you all please bow your heads just for a moment in silence in honor of all of those. Thank you. So before I share all my formal remarks, an event like this doesn't come together without a lot of hard work. And as many of you who just heard about this event, it wasn't because you weren't in the know. It's just that we planned this event in less than six days. And so I want to thank and honor all of those people who made it happen. I want to thank Governor Inslee and his entire office. I want to thank Metro Parks of Tacoma. Just keep it going. I want to thank Pierce County Parks Executive Bruce Stanmeyer for this magnificent free stage. I want to thank the Rainiers and Rhubarb. Rhubarb, rave to the crowd. Who's here to celebrate with us? I want to thank the Department of Health and Secretary Shaw and the Caravan for being here today. COVID is the reason this event is taking place, and we are deeply honored that this event can be utilized to advance our response to the pandemic. In the same spirit, I want to thank the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department for the testing table today. I want to thank the Tacoma Farmers Market for coordinating these amazing food trucks. And I especially want to thank Olympic Eagle Distributing just for who, who they generously recognized our COVID heroes by providing the first 500 essential workers with lunch today. So if you are an essential worker and you have not got your lunch ticket, please be sure to go to this booth over here with the white tent and you can get a ticket for free lunch today thanks to Olympic Eagle Distributing. Many of you know that we are compassionate Tacoma. Last year, during my state of the city, I proclaimed that Tacoma was going to be a compassionate city. And I didn't co proclaim us to be a compassionate city because I thought we weren't compassionate. I wanted to highlight the fact that Tacoma is so compassionate. And that even during this pandemic, we all took the opportunity to care for our neighbors, whether they were housed or whether they were not housed. Olympic Distributing, who came together tonight or today to support us, like many other beverage distributors across the state, put their trucks to good use during COVID-19 by helping food banks in our area get vital food to the locations where it could be distributed to all of the families that needed it. So can we also give a round of applause, not just to Olympic Eagle Distributing, but to all of our food banks who have done an amazing job during this time caring for our community. That is just one example of this company and our community and how we've come together in resiliency to be stronger in this time. We cannot name the ways that people have showed up during COVID. We know that there are countless COVID heroes showing up and doing what needed to be done during the pandemic. And ladies and gentlemen, this includes our teachers, our daycare workers, our first responders, our utility workers, our streets and park staff, our food banks, our grocery store employees, our agricultural workers, our frontline healthcare workers, our in-care providers, our retirement staff, our bus drivers, everyone, our volunteers. We just want to say thank you to all of you and so many more than I did not get to mention. Truly, it was, it's because of all of you and all of them and the way that we came together that reminds me of the most beautiful angle poster that says this, soft hearts 
for hard times. At Tacoma, I couldn't be more proud of how you've come together and shown your heart during this time. We are in Tacoma, Washington ready for whatever comes our way next. We are ready for the opportunity that offers our economy to reopen, and we are ready for the unknowns that lie ahead and the work that we must continue to do. Now it is my pleasure to bring to the stage some other speakers that you'll get to hear from today. Unfortunately, Chairman Sterud was unable to join us today, but he certainly wanted to send his congratulations and send his appreciation to you all as well. But our first speaker is going to be none other than our Speaker of the House, our own Lori Jenkins. Lori, please come forward. As you all know, she works tirelessly in the state policy and has been, a, has been an enduring champion of public health. And we so love and appreciate her. Let's show some more love for Speaker Lori Jenkins. There's nothing better than giving real hugs without masks to real people right now, is there, Tacoma? I'm so happy to be here this afternoon in the heart of Tacoma to celebrate the great reopening of this state, of our community, of everything that we have done together and of everything we are going to do together. You know, I think a lot about uh, January 11th for me being uh, in the state capitol building, uh, opening up our legislative session and speaking to a House floor that was empty of members because we had mostly a remote session. One of the things I asked our members to do was not just to keep hope alive, but to make hope a reality. That's what we've done today. We have made hope a reality being able to reopen the state, being, open, being able to reopen our community. And the way we have done it is by getting vaccinated. Listen, I've worked in public health for 30 years. No one thought I was gonna come up here and not talk about getting vaccinated, right? Um, right, you got the chance to do it right here. That's how we did it. And I wanna make a special, um, a special call out to one of my friends who this morning turned 12 years old and was the first appointment at her clinic to get vaccinated for her 12th birthday. That's what she wanted for her birthday present. If she can do that, every single one of us can do it. All of our friends and neighbors can do it. That is how we, th that variant is gonna run after us. And you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna turn around and we are gonna stomp out every single one of those variants. And we are gonna do it with vaccinations. So let's make sure that we get every single one of our friends and family members to get vaccinated so that we can stay open. Victoria already did such an amazing job of thanking all of our frontline workers. Uh, I work at a building up on South 38th Street filled with folks who have been doing contact tracing and vaccinations for well over a year. They are tired. They are tired. Your public health department is tired. But you know what? They will never give up. And we will never give up. So I want to shout out, just as Victoria did, to all those amazing frontline workers. I know we've had people who've come over from multi-care today, our health care providers. We've had, uh, I see a lot of kids out here, so I'm hoping we have some daycare workers who are out here with, uh, with kids, our grocery workers who are here. Our, uh, we've got you know, Dan Bernoski, who's uh, uh, a firefighter in his other life and serves with me in Olympia, is, is here. So we've got so many frontline workers who are here, and we need to thank them because they are the folks that got us through. Now, I, I would say if we could ask all those frontline workers now to make ice for us, that would be awesome too. Um, but I, I just want to say, Tacoma, you have always made me proud, proud to live here. I agree with Victoria. I want us to stay a little bit of a secret and not to get too big. I love who we are. I love that we stand for each other. You stand uh, with, with your neighbors next to you and your family members. I stand with you. We all stand together. And together we will stay strong and we uh, will stay open and we will recover without leaving a single person behind. Let's go, Tacoma.
those of, thank you, thank you, Speaker Jenkins. Those of you who know me know I am a hugger. And, and so I, if you see me hug speakers twice today or when I get out on stage, run around and hug as many people as I can, I have missed hugging you and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be vaccinated and to have you be vaccinated so that we can hug. Lori, thank you so much. Thank you for being our fearless leader. Um, in, in the Washington State Legislature for doing such a great job on behalf of Tacoma. I am gonna introduce all of our elected officials who are here in just a moment, but I have this great opportunity to introduce our next speaker. You all know that Tacoma is so blessed to have so many talented creatives and makers, and this happens, and, and the one I'm going to introduce right now also happens to be a Tacoma Public Utility worker, so he actually works for the city of Tacoma. Um, and I am so, so proud to introduce Christian Page, who will give us the amazing spoken word entitled, Remember Our Future. Christian? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I thought somebody might have been excited at a celebration. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Awesome, awesome. As Mayor Sharon, my name is Christian Page, uh, born, raised, and still living in the greatest city on the planet. Um, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to be here with you all today. But if I can frame this poem for just a second, is it all right with you all? Yeah. yeah. All right, if you said no, there wasn't really a plan B. So I was going to let you know. Um, I get the opportunity to work with students across the Pacific Northwest. And in one of the recent conferences on leadership, a student asked me, what does it mean to be a visionary leader? And I gave them a really simple definition. I said, it's someone who understands the past well enough to impact the future with integrity. Someone who understands the past well enough to impact the future with integrity. And as we plan to reopen, my hope is that we approach this as visionary leaders, that we understand the past of what hasn't worked, that we understand the good, bad, and the ugly, and that we move forward with a more informed perspective when we don't treat the reopen as something that we go back to, rather as something that we move forward to. Does that make sense to you all? It don't seem like anybody's excited about reopening. <laughs> what I'm hoping is that reopening leads to recovery, that it leads to reimagining, that it leads to reconnecting, and that as we look back, we can look to our indigenous brothers and sisters who have taught us about the seventh generation, understanding that we hold the thoughts of our ancestors and the dreams of our children at the same time, that any time that we face adversity together, that we can look at leaders who have stood in our community like the late and great Harold Moss, despite any of the things that were thrown in his direction, de jure or de facto racism still made it his mission to live here and become a pillar here. And what I'm asking is that we pass this message down to our youth and that we leave this community a better community than the one that we got to live in. So this reopen is not the closing chapter. Rather, it's our opportunity to take the pen and create the Tacoma that we want to live in. So what I'm asking is that we'll be visionary leaders. Is that fair to ask of the folks who live in Tacoma? Awesome, thank you. So the piece I'm gonna to perform to you today was originally written for the state of the city pre-pandemic, and I think still holds weight as we move into a space of being post-pandemic. And so the idea of us being revolutionary leaders, or revolutionary and visionary leaders, is for us to remember our future. So the poem reads, do you remember our future? When we redesigned and redefined community, when we constructed coalitions of change-creating change conglomerates that wouldn't accept moderate when it came to their mission, who went past tolerant when it came to their difference, do you remember our commitment? When we proved that red lines were written in pencil, when we knocked down walls and turned them into bridges that we named after the legends that were once excluded, do you remember loving your neighbor? For no other reason than the fact that their heart beat to a rhythm that made you dance, will you tell the stories to our youth? Reminding them that brilliance knows no age, that seeds grow to be trees that stand over the world in need of their shade, that they are capable of reclamation and recreation, that the application of their declarations and passion could reimagine a city that reflects their humanity, elegantly and effortlessly distributing their resources equitably, referencing the bodies that stand most affected, letting the evidence of their success being no resident feeling neglected, bringing home back to housing, 
ethos back to education, equity back to economy, voices back to our vision. Do you remember our trust, our faith, our belief, our destiny? Do you remember that with this power comes great responsibility? Do you remember these faces, these hearts, these shades, these hues? Do you remember our future? Good. Then make sure our future remembers you. Peace and love, everyone. Thank you. Isn't he absolutely amazing? Let's show him a little bit more love for Christian Page. We do have to make sure that our future remembers us and remembers us for the for the future that for the foundation that we laid for them. It is our responsibility here and now. People always say children are our future. I disagree. I think that children are our present. They are here, they are now, and we should engage them and put them to work and let them help us build the kind of community they want in the future. But it's up to all of us here. All of us play a role in this future that 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 Christian just talked about. It is now my honor um, to introduce um, the, the, the man of the hour, I guess I would say. Um, and, and I'm so glad that I'm just introducing the next speaker and not the next speaker, because I would not want to be the next speaker after Christian Page. Sorry, Governor, but that job is yours. But, 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 but I do want to just take a moment to acknowledge the heavy task that lied before our governor at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. For the past year and a half, our gov governor has made incredibly difficult decisions with the goal of safeguarding the health and safety of everyone in Washington state. He relied on experts in the field, and as you heard him say many a times, he used science. He used science. Science is real. He used science to guide us and how he made his decisions. And I have to tell you all something. As I talk to mayors across the country, and as you see the fights that were happening in other states between counties and mayors, mayors and their governors and cities uh, against cities, I am so grateful to have a governor who took charge at the state level so that we could do our jobs at the local level and not have to fight over the important things that needed to happen, like eviction moratoriums, like masking, like, like getting the vaccine. Governor, you did an amazing job, like making sure our kids were safe during COVID. Governor, you, we didn't just have to care about our cities because we had an amazing leader at the state level who cared about every single Washingtonian. And Governor, for that, we are incredibly grateful to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our governor, the best governor in the universe of the best state in the universe, Governor Jay Inslee. Well, let's give it up for a great mayor, too. This mayor's done a great job in so many different ways. This, this is the right place to be today in the state of Washington. And the reason is we are in the city of destiny, saying that it is our destiny to reopen Washington, and we are realizing that destiny today. We are open big time in the state of Washington. This is the right place. And we know why, we know why we have been able to realize this destiny. It is because of our nurses that kept us healthy and worked so hard. It is because, it is because of our grocery workers and our agricultural workers who fed us through these difficult days. It was because of our law enforcement and fire department who in fact took care of us and kept us safe. That's who we have to thank for realizing our destiny today. And let's give a special thanks to the business people who have come through these difficult times with their great leadership and are now ready to reopen our economy. 
And I'd also like to give a big shout out to the citizens of Washington who have provided over $350 million to help those, help those businesses reopen today. Thank you, citizens of the state of Washington. Now, this has been a tough year, but we have pulled together. And because we have pulled together, we are in a great day. And I hope people all enjoy it. And yes, so let's sing in celebration. Let's give a round of applause for the First Amendment that we can exercise some other day. Round of applause for the First Amendment. Look, there's a lot of people to thank, but I will tell you I do have one particular uh, responsibility and right as governor of the state of Washington. And that is that when I meet somebody really, really inspiring, someone who en enables me to be proud of our state in such a deep way, I can honor them as Washingtonian of the day. And when I honor a Washingtonian of the day, I take off this pin, it's a Washington State Apple pin, and I pin them on them. And I've met somebody today that, to me, symbolizes the best in Washington today. Today, please help me honor Pam Kitzner, a retired nurse from St. Joe's who's been vaccinating people as a volunteer, the Washingtonian of the day, Pam Kitzner. Pam, can I pin this on you? Thank you. Round of applause for Pam and all that she represents. Now, I know that every place in Washington State is beautiful today because every place we can enjoy reopening. But I do believe Tacoma is a special place today, a place of such cultural diversity we've seen with these incredible entertainers a place of economic growth, a place of great leaders like our speaker, Bruce Denmeyer's here. We've got many great legislators. Round of applause for the best legislative session in state history under Lori Jenkins' leadership. So I think this is a great day to put on my favorite baseball hat right here. And I got the, the best candy in the universe, Almond Roca, right here, Brown Haley Almond Roca. So I'm throwing out the first pitch to celebrate reopening Washington State to rhubarb. Here you go, rhubarb, fastball. It's a strike. Go get him. Reopen Washington. Thanks a lot. Enjoy, you guys. Maybe we can make that, maybe we can take that countrywide so that everybody at their first pitch will throw out Almond Roca. You think Brown and Haley would appreciate that? Great way to support local business, Governor. Thank you. Now, I, I just quickly want to invite all of my council members to come to the stage to take part um, in, in the next part of our program. So will all of the council members from the city of Tacoma come forward? Deputy Mayor Keith Blocker, Council Member Catherine Ushka, Council Member Christina Walker. Y'all come up on the stage. Come on up here. I'm missing, are there any other council members? That council, I know Council Member Hines had a meeting he was trying to make it here. Council Member Hines, did you make it? All right, I'm gonna turn this over to who I believe again, you all, you might say she's using that in the universe a bit much, but um, the greatest council that I get to work with, three of our council members who are here this afternoon, thank you for being here, council. They're going to take the time to recognize all of our essential workers. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I want to take a minute to give some extra thanks to some folks out there because we've done it a few times, but I don't think we can ever thank our frontline workers enough. Who out there is a nurse, a doctor, a pharmacist, 
a nurse practitioner, physician assistants, raise your hands. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, who is a school staff and childcare worker? This includes teachers, bus drivers, custodians, office staff, maintenance people, and food workers. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, educators. First responders, if you're a firefighter, police, paramedic, or 911 dispatcher, let's give them a round of applause for all their hard work here. And next, we want to thank all of our human service providers and our amazing nonprofits in the city of Tacoma. department staff. Thank you. All right, last and certainly not least, our critical retail and food services, grocery store workers, agriculture and food production, food banks and delivery drivers. And now let's give another big round of applause for all of our essential workers. put this in for all of our volunteers, for everybody who showed compassion during this period of time and who are committing to showing compassion moving forward. Whether you helped hand out water this weekend during the crisis, whether you helped take care of your neighbors, whether you brought food to your neighbors, whether or not you checked in on a senior, let's give everyone a round of applause. Thank you. All right, at this time, I would like to invite all elected officials, any members of our health board, the Department of Health Secretary Shaw, and um, I want you all to come forward for the flag reveal, and as they are all coming forward, I'm also going to ask that our, that our county executive, Bruce Danmeyer, come forward and make a few comments, and I'm calling forward Senator Jeannie Darneal, Speaker Lori Jenkins, Senator Steve Conway, Representative Maury Levitt, Deputy Mayor Keith Walker, Council Members Ushka, Walker, and Hines, County Council Member Ryan Mello, and Board Member Tacoma School District Board Member Corey Schroeser. If you all would please come forward, and Executive, if you would please come up at this time as we get ready to unveil the Washington Ready flag. It's good to see you all today. And I would like to first start out by thanking somebody. I'd like to thank Nurse Shelly Kelly, who is right over there, because Nurse Shelly and I met at the White River vaccination site at White River High School, where she gave me not just my first vaccination dose, but my second vaccination dose. So Nurse Kelly, thank you for helping me be safer. Thank you for protecting my family. Thank you for protecting my community. I appreciate it. This last year and a half almost has been hard for everybody and it's been devastating for some in our community. But at the same time, I can tell you, I am so proud of how our community came together to help take care of each other. The innovation, the collaboration, the willingness to say, find ways to get things done was amazing by the people of Pierce County. And I will tell you, I'd like to start with thanking the governor for his leadership on, on behalf of the people of Pierce County. The governor came out here to support our vaccination events. He came out here to support our schools, all the things. So really appreciate that, Governor. Thank you very much. And when we talk about innovation, we saw school districts in Pierce County 
pushing the envelope, finding ways to try to make sure that they could get kids back in school, leading for the state to get kids back in school safely and to get it done safely. We had our business community finding ways to help not only our businesses come together, but we got people out there like Tom Pearson from the Tacoma Pierce County Chamber. But we met, we had 40 business leaders meeting for six weeks on promoting vaccinations in Pierce County. So they were doing amazing work from that. Our healthcare community, Bill Robertson out there, in addition to, to Nurse Shelly Kelly, our healthcare community did a great job. Our, our public health, community, our Tacoma Pierce County Health Department did an amazing work. And I will tell you that our nonprofit community stepped up in a big way. When we were looking for ways to how to help our community who was struggling, people who were at risk of losing their houses, people who were struggling with food insecurity, I will tell you our nonprofit community and in particular the, the Greater Tacoma Community Foundation found ways to get it done. And I will tell you I could not be more proud. We have gotten recognition. Our community has gotten recognition for how we've done support for our businesses, for how we've supported our communities, for how transparent we've been in our funding and been transparent to the public. It has been impressive. And I will tell you the way that elected officials have come together. I can tell you that about a year ago, Mayor Woodards and I and some of the council members were out at Cheney Stadium. This was well, we were passing out masks and thermometers. We were doing personal protective equipment to our community. That was a year ago. And the way we did things like, you know, that was at Cheney Stadium. We did vaccination events out at out at the Tacoma Dome. We did vaccination events out at throughout Pierce County, including the, the fairgrounds in Puyallup. So the way that our community came together, that's what is the most amazing. That's what I'm going to remember, and I hope that's what we all feel really proud of, is that we took care of our neighbors. We took care of those who were the most in need. And I'll, I'll finish with where Victoria finished, and that is, while I'm really proud of the work we've done and how we got through this together, we still got a lot of work to do. COVID is not gone. We're kind of ending the emergency phase of this, but we still got to, we got to learn to live with COVID, and we got to learn to take care of each other and do things in a new and better way, Can, always challenging ourselves to do better by everybody in Pierce County. So with that, thank you very much. Mayor Woodards, it is great to be here, and Pierce County is excited to have supported this event. Thank you so much. I just want to quickly call up a few more people as the governor comes to unveil this flag. I want to call up Joe Stortini, former city council member, who's turning 90 years old. What? For a former county executive, my goodness, Joe Stortini, come on up. And Art Wong, Art Wong, while you're telling him to come up, you can join him and bring him up here with you. We also have former state representative Art Wong. I'd also like to ask the mayor of Fircrest, Hunter George, to please join us up here. And then I'm going to ask TPU board members Joe Bushnell and Carlos Watson to join us as well. All right, Governor, it's yours. Okay, we're going to do a little work here. We got a little flag. I'll tell you this, this flag says Washington is ready. We are ready to open our restaurants. We are ready to open our theaters. We're ready to go to the ball games. We're ready to reopen Washington. We're ready to keep getting vaccines. Let's give it Washington. We're ready and we are open. Go Washington. All right. And have some Bob and Roca and go to a Rainier's game. Have fun. See you guys later. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, everybody. Please, we have more entertainment. If you have not, if you are an essential worker and you have not gotten your fuel coupon, please go over to the White Tent. We want to treat you to lunch. Thank you so much for being here. Thank again these amazing performers who are all part of the Tacoma community. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Let's go, Washington. It's almost 1 o'clock. Let's get back to work. Thank you.
Hello, everybody. Thank you so much. What a wonderful day here in Tacoma, huh? This is an original song. This is called My Friend. I think uh, over the last year, we've uh, made some new friends, missed our friends a lot, and probably understood just what how important human connection is with each other. So this is what this song is about. That you may not see that person every day, you may be far apart, but when you do come together, it's like no time has passed, right? This is called My Friend. It's been so long 
long tell me how have you been I can't remember the last time I saw your smile now we haven't talked about our troubles from day to day somehow I knew that you would understand Thank you very much. All right, so obviously one thing that I have been looking forward to about us opening is getting to play live music again. Oh, I've missed you all so much. All right, this next song I'm gonna do is a song about music from our good friends, the Doobie Brothers. You guys might know this one, so sing along, okay? Don't you feel it going day by day? People getting ready for the move. Some are happy, some are saying, oh, gonna let the music play. If I feel Like a lazy flowing river 
surrounded castles in the sky And the crowd keeps growing bigger Listen to the happy sounds Don't let them fly Whoa, whoa. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, little Sam and Dave there. All right, I'm gonna do another song for you guys before I let you get to your lunch. Thank you again for including me in such an awesome celebration, the reopening of our state. That's such a great, those are just great words to hear, aren't they? Love it, so we can all get back to work, get back to business full swing, I love it. Uh, again, my name is Kim Archer, I'm so glad to be here and uh, so honored to be part of this commu community. So. Uh, 
This uh, song I'm going to close with is an original song, a little jazzy number for you. This is called Worlds Apart. Early this morning, packed your bags, said you had to get away. I know I'm going to miss you, baby. I only wish you'd stay. Thank you so very much, everybody. My name is Kim Marge. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you.